What's going on, guys? We are filming the last yeah. Blockbuster experience. Yeah, it's super cool. So, uh, we got all this cool stuff to explore, and I'll show it all off to you guys. Here's Dragon And this Ghost is Dragon. a Mega Movie Z exclusive. Yes, a Mega Movie Z exclusive. You won't find this anywhere else, guys. So, make sure you subscribe so you uh, get as much of Blockbuster and nostalgia as possible. Look at this. You got tons of VHS tapes. Everything is five bucks here. They've got uh, the Blockbuster video signs. It looks just like that. Everything here is five bucks. And look at this, guys. It is Michael. It's me. See? Look at that. This is such a cool, cool. Whoa. We got a guy with a face hugger. That's so cool. <laughs> Free viewed movies to buy, just like what Godfather used to do. And this is like, we got like American Beauty on DVD. You got Kill Bill, American Gangster. You got all these great DVDs here that you can buy for five bucks. As well as, you know, more VHSs here in the back. And then they've even got here a horror section for all you horror nuts out there. Like I know some of you subscribers on my channel are. You got a bunch of these horror DVDs for five bucks a piece, which is really awesome. Can't go wrong with a lot of these. So there you go, guys. Yeah. This is the horror section. And hey, oh, look what the classic they have. Look. Oh, Hollow Man 2. You were telling me about this movie. Yeah. The original one is great. Yeah, I've seen the original. I've never seen one, but uh, this movie this movie sucks. Yeah. Um, yeah. That is a bad movie. And look. Uh, but. Oh, this one. Yes. Yeah, have you ever seen this one or no? Uh, I, I actually have not seen Fallen. I've seen it advertised, but that is one I've not seen yet. What's it, what's it like? It's crazy because it said, you know, like, homicide detective John Hobbs pursues a killer down a bustling sidewalk. There there she is, a small midget woman. No, wait, the killer's a timid man beside her. Now it's someone else. It's all and none of them. Because the murderer Hobbs seeks is a demon passing from one one human house to another with a brush and overall touch of harm. Hobbs stalking a simply mortal killer foe. And fallen in an intense, surly post starring John Goodman and Donald, Donald Sutherland. Wow. Is that interesting or? That sounds really cool. So. Oh, yeah, too. And the, and the so, demon in it sings a creepy song. Ooh. Creepy That's a song. Creepy songs are always scary. You know which one? Which one? The song Time. Oh, oh boy. Yes, guys. We got a bunch of them here. We got American History X with Edward Furlong, who we are who we just met at this convention. Oh, Man Without a Face. There you go. Mel Gibson is at this convention. So people can buy that and get it or signed. Or this one, too. They have a whole Mel Gibson section because of it. Yeah, there's Forever Young. Elijah Wood was at this festival so, or at this uh, convention. He was. And that's pretty cool. They even got... They even got sealed ones, like this one of Tim, which I've never seen, but it's completely sealed, which is pretty cool. So, so yeah, that's that's really awesome. They got like a story, a Toy Story 4 poster here. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's a cool poster for Mr. Possible Bad Reckoning. Oh, here's their uh, foosball machine. This was an old school Disney TV movie. And can you say the title, Five Times Fast? The Garbage Picking Field Goal Kicking Philadelphia <laughs> Phenomenon. I, yeah, nah, I'm not even going to try that. That is going to be a tongue twister for the ages. And look. Um, oh, yes, yeah, Tom and Huck. And look, this was a Disney War movie. Ooh. I grew up with this one, too. This was, like, so fun as a kid. Dinosaur. That is sad. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that cool blockbuster sign, guys. We got some Ad Astra poster, Sonic 3 poster. We got some snackage. If y'all want some snackage to go with your movies, because you know, we all like to eat snacks and watch movies. So, 
there's some of your snackage. And then some more snackage. And some more snackage. You can go on with that. There's a, an action section for DVDs and Blu-rays. It's the best alien movie ever made. Oh, God. Uh, we got oh, all this stuff over here. This is and they got they got real popcorn here. And look, and look at that, guys. Look at that machine. Real popcorn. Mm -hmm. That's so hot. Here's a VHS player, and then you can like control it. They also have a used video games area. So, and this yeah. is the worst game on the Super Nintendo, guys. Dennis the Menace. The movie's good, but this yeah. sucks. I, I even think it's uh, even worse than the Atari ET game. Oh, uh, it's up there, yeah. Oh, man. So, uh, yeah, they've got some old games here, stuff I grew up with. Like, this is my favorite Assassin's Creed game. I love that one. Battlefield 3, Mass Effect 3, some really, really great ones here that I was a huge fan of. I've not seen both, but I have been very interested. Do you know who directs it too? Who? William Friedkin. Oh, wow. I'm going to have to see that one. But yeah, we were just talking about The Roommate uh, and, and Minka Kelly. Hot, but the movie kind of sucks. And this um, movie has a 4% of Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, that movie. Johnson, we're up in the air. So he has been in some bad ones. And then you've got The Conjuring, Sanctum, Messengers. Good one. It actually is. Over a hundred critics agree the crying game is one of the year's best. Underrated. Oh, thanks. Oh, yeah, yeah. The Fisher King, one of my all time favorite movies. Which is excellent. Never seen this movie, but it has one of my favorite lines in movie history. Oh, Danny DeVito. Yeah, it has one of my favorite lines in movie history. Which one? He asked this guy. You want a donut? And the guy goes like, "No, thanks. I'm not really that hungry." And then they're like, he goes like, "Who said you have to be hung hungry to, to have a donut?" Oh wow! Uh, this is uh, one of Denzel's best performances. It the is, hurricane. It is. And that will that will piss you off. Oh my God! Because his son is dying of heart failure, and they can't do anything because he doesn't have the right insurance. It's crazy. They even have stand-up specials down here. They've got Jeff Foxworthy. They've got Martin Lawrence. Uh, Billy Crystal stuff here. And we gotta shout out this one, Mike. Which one? Cadillac Man. Oh yeah, Cadillac Man. The one that uh, the one that Ross watched for. Uh, it wasn't bad though, but you know. Well, he was a single person. Yeah. And then here, oh, this is the one you've been recommending to me. Uh, I do. Jakob the Liar. Right? Yeah, my no. giant. No, Dan Stanley got me in front of it. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, my God. I'll tell you what Okay. It involves the AD word. Oh, my. Because of like talking about like, how bad it is. Yeah. I said a bad movie, not in a bore. Oh, my in God. A board. This is kind of a boring poster for the Texas Chainsaw Master, but great movie though. Oh wow. No Manhunter! Eight films. That's cool. Um Oh Manhunter? Oh my god. Wow, you can get the whole I Know What You Did Last Summer trilogy on here for five bucks. That's pretty cool. Oh, I bet that movie's better than the other one. Oh, that that open? No, no. 
<laughs> oh, don't look up? Oh, yeah. I've never seen that one. Oh, this is the most underrated in the franchise. I actually quite like this one a bit. I know a lot of people don't, but I actually really do like this. And that's kind of a gnarly ass slip cover. So I might get that. I might just get that. We'll see. Here's Insidious as well. Some of them mixed up things because the Blair Witch Project is an action and that's a movie where not a lot of action happens. Oh, Mr. Destiny. I'm thinking about it, yeah. Because it has uh, Linda Hamilton in it. Oh, cool. Yeah, I've never seen that one. And look at that cover, though. Lost World, that is really cool. Black Dahlia. Son in law. Oh, yeah, don't say a word. Ooh. Wait, what's Friday doing in action in half-day? I was, like I was, yeah, like I said, you know, in, in, in action, you got Blair Witch Project, you got, I know, I still know what you did last summer. The horror movie? I mean, it's about a zombie. But, but it's more of a childhood cancer movie. Yeah, it's more of a drama thing. But that, but that basic instinct has one of my favorite special features ever, too. Oh, They'll really? show the original scene, and then they'll show you the TV cut of it. Perhaps the only good Eli Roth movie, well, Thanksgiving was good, but that and Thanksgiving are like the only ones I enjoyed. Um, Ooh, the Saddles right, they'll, good. Show, they'll show the scene, right? Yeah. Oh, and then yeah. Instinct. Basic instinct? Oh. So, like, in Die Hard 2, they do it too, but they don't say, like, and he goes, like, you think I Mr. Falcon? <laughs> we could be in here for hours. Yeah we? We, yeah, we could literally just be exploring this for hours and hours. They, they have a, what is this, a Nightmare for Christmas oh, uh, v VHS. Uh, is that debatable or? Uh, it's, it's, it's debatable. I mean, if you count Tim Burton movies as horror, then, then yeah. Oh, there's Guardians of the Galaxy. And then uh, Volume 3, my favorite. Yeah, sorry, it's nice. better. this is better than the one we saw. Joan of Arc? Uh, no. No, no. No, no, no. <laughs> no, I mean, either the one for the 20s. Oh, saw. yeah. Not better than Passion of the Joan of Arc. This one still has the two day rental sign on it right there, which is funny. Ooh. You gotta show some Bro, this is great. A double feature on for five bucks. Yeah, that looks bad, actually. That's no. not bad. Look. Oh, her? Dang, that's really nice to have that on Blu-ray. Okay, I gotta find it again. There's this, there they have a copy of The Spirit, right? Uh-huh. But, but, but it has that like sun-drenched look to it. Like this. See? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, look at that sun-drenched spirit is down there, guys. Oh, yeah. I see what you're saying. Oh, shoot. That is very sunburned. And then uh, you got stuff like Sin City, The Game to Kill For, Training Day, uh, a bunch of different kinds of stuff like this. Tell everyone how this is your favorite movie of all time. Ah, it's your favorite movie. No. Or Dirty Grandpa, there's another bad one with you. And there's a DVD of Michael. Yeah. We got found a VHS, now we got a DVD of it. There you go. I probably should buy it since my name is Michael. There you go. What was it about? What? The Angel. Oh, Michael the Archangel? Yes, it is John Travolta plays Michael. Wow. That's, that's, that's a uh, very uh, interesting casting choice for Michael the Archangel. Like they have 14 away. Oh, really? Yep. Oh, wow. That's a really good one. They have a High School Musical Encore Edition. For any of you fans of High School Musical out there. Oh, Shakira live and off the record. Nice. And they, they've got some other concerts, like Mark Anthony in concert. They got another Robin Williams called House of B. 
Holmes and Watson, which sucks. Look, they have Mr. Wonderful. The real women have curves. Yes, they do. Um, there's 40. Oh, Big Mama's like father, like son is very washed. I saw it. Oh, man. Cool, guys. This is really cool in here, guys. So if y'all are at, ever at one of these Fan X cons, definitely be sure to go to one of these special, uh, one of these like last blockbuster experiences. You would not regret it for sure.